afternoon. Uh, we're going to start in a few minutes. Uh, I'd like everybody to settle down. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome all of you uh, to take your valuable time off to come to this uh, Nathan Bass UCSL Liver Transplant Conference. Uh, we've been doing this for 14 years, and it's been wonderful to see all of you uh, to come here to take uh, a breath, breath of fresh air and uh, really enjoy the festivities for today and tomorrow. So uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, have Dr. Bass come and say a few words to welcome all of you, Dr. Bass. Thank you very much, Francis, and uh, it is wonderful to see you all here, despite the smoky environment. Anyway, welcome to everyone. Um, I'll be very brief. Firstly, thank you, Francis, to you and your entire magnificent support team, all the speakers and participants and the sponsors who I know have worked very hard uh, to bring this event to its, I know you said 14th, but uh, we're going to have to sort of compare notes on that. I got 16th. 16th. Yeah, we're right. Okay, 16, right. There we go. Uh, and may we all be here in good health for many more to come. Um, it's, of course, an uh, almost indescribable honor for me to attend my own eponymous uh, conference as a guest of honor, and thank you all for that. Uh, I'm deeply, deeply appreciated. Uh, this conference actually now has its own website. Uh, it's a very lovely website. I, I shared it with everybody that I know, and uh, so should all of you. Shows uh, the beautiful Napa Valley without any smoke in it. And the program uh, looks, as always, to be really quite amazing. Uh, there's the addition this year of uh, visiting professor, Chris Bolas from UC Davis. Chris, welcome. Thank you for being here. It's just really fantastic. And uh, what's only left to say is that this is going to be both incredibly informative and entertaining. And I look forward to catching up with all of you uh, during the course of the next uh, 24 hours. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great time, everybody. Thank you, Francis. Um, thank you very much, Tony. Um, so um, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Aiton, Hazuna, and Michelle Maman done a wonderful job, as usual, for organizing this conference. They are outside busy and doing other things, but uh, you know, really appreciate uh, the great work, as usual. So the objective of this program is to provide with you uh, up-to-date information on specific liver disease entities and issues relevant to liver transplantation. So this is a really great opportunity for you to know more about our program and the people working here. And uh, we really value your evaluations and feedback. So what we can do better to provide, you know, really continue to provide excellent care to your patients. Uh, CME, uh, we should be up and running uh, as soon as the program is over. I don't think that we will have a hard deadline, but uh, try to get this as soon as possible is all in the handout and uh, you can get the CME certificate printout immediately after the conference. And uh, it's not possible to have uh, a program like this without the generous support of our sponsors, uh, Novartis, um, Gilead, FV, Bayer, Salix, Dover, Intercept, Kroger, Ethicon, New Wave. So thank you very much uh, for their support and I encourage you to talk to the, uh, uh, the sponsors during the break to know more about what they are trying to do to help our patients. So um, this is the outline of the program. Again, we're very excited to have uh, Dr. Bolas from UC Davis to be the visiting professor talking about uh, PSC. We have a, a last minute change in the program. We initially invited uh, one of the recipients who had a living donor liver transplant to discuss about his journey through this process. Unfortunately, 
uh, he's unable to come the last minute for personal reasons. So we're moving the program around a little bit for that. So we'll have uh, topics including acute and chronic liver failure, improving nutrition and frailty, uh, new frontiers in the management of PSC by Dr. Bolas. Um, and then we have this very exciting uh, new development with this mobile liver unit that Jen Price will discuss about. And then we have a little break, and then uh, we have a debate uh, following the tradition for years. And then uh, we'll talk about the HCC allocation system and then treating or not treating hepatitis C while patients are on the waiting list for transplant. And we have questions and answers at the end of this. Uh, and then we have a reception at uh, 6 o'clock and then the famous seafood buffet afterwards. And then um, tomorrow we have a pediatric breakout program that starts at 8. Uh, we have continental breakfast uh, that will start at 7.30. And then we'll have some case presentations um, to wrap up the conference. So the mission of the UCS liver transplant program is really to provide the highest quality of specialized care to patients with liver disease, try to advance the field of liver transplant through research and clinical experience. And uh, we are unable to do what we are trying to do without your support, and we are very grateful for that. Um, we like to provide high quality of care and serve your patients well. And uh, we always need feedback, how we can do better. Communication is really the key. Um, you know, we, we try to be available. Uh, pager is kind of outdated, so I will give out my cell phone instead uh, and email as well. Um, and there's a 24-hour uh, number for you to call to get hold of the uh, hepatologist or transplant surgeons on call. And uh, so we are the front line in terms of taking call. We don't have fellows or residents doing that for us. We are the first one to to respond to you. So we have a pretty robust outreach program in Fresno, Modesto, Santa Clara, Fremont, Warner Creek, and then we are setting up new sites in San Mateo and Sacramento. Uh, we're planning on having that next year. So we'd like to get your feedback and uh, try to bridge the gap. And thank you again for coming and welcome. Mm -hmm.